Hello, welcome to this first tips and tricks video where I'm going to attempt to resin cast a painting. I'll be using Mastercast one to one clear artwork and casting resin. This is specially made for the purpose as it's optically clear and UV stable. Here I'm measuring out 100 millilitres of part A, as this resin does come in two parts, so a part A and a part B, which is the hardener. Here's the little part B hardener. You use 50-50 uh, of each. This is a relatively small painting, so I'm not doing a huge amount. You'll have to gauge this for your size. I am being very careful here not to get any of the resin on my hands, as it's quite a skin irritant. I should, probably should have gloves, but I've got. You need to thoroughly mix the two resins together. You've got quite a long working time, so you don't have to rush too much. Right, I think that'll just about do it. Now it's a simple matter of pouring all over. It's quite thick and uh, it spreads very slowly. It is self-leveling, so you haven't got to worry about uh, the distribution of the resin. Although in a minute, minute I will spread it around with a spatula that comes with the kit. I'm just pushing the resin off the painting so it drips over the sides so I've got a complete coverage. making absolute sure that uh, there are no parts of the painting left uncovered. Just getting down to a low eye level to really check how I've got a good coverage. As I say, this resin will naturally end up flat. So long as you've got the um, painting pretty 
horizontal. I just think uh, I've got a little too much resin pooling in the bottom of the painting, so I'm just tilting it a little. And I think that's just about it. Now here comes the fun part, blowtorch. The resin does end up with thousands of little microscopic tiny bubbles, which might disperse on their own, but you can help them along with a blowtorch which instantly gets rid of these little bubbles but you've got to be very very careful this resin is very flammable and it's easy to burn it I mean it would be a bad idea to have a fire blanket on, on hand and I think this is just about it now I'm going to leave the painting there overnight to be totally hard and here's the result once it's put in its frame. It's got a seriously deep shine to it. Thank you for watching and I hope it's been of some use.